Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Infinite Omega with me, Black Deppa. We're back here today on Hitman 2, and this is actually a video we recorded quite some time ago when we still had the Fixer elusive target around. Now, I actually had an idea of how I was going to do it, but it kind of turned out to be a bit of a blunder, and I never actually finished editing the video, but you know what? I figured what the hell. Let's put it up. It might be kind of fun. So, check it out. Alright, you bastard. You're going to go down one more time. So for the plan I had on this one, I used the uh, school starting location disguised as the soldier, smuggled in the tranquilizer gun in the consulate parking lot, brought along the silver baller, the electrocution phone, and the lockpick. Let's see how this went. And as always, if you do find yourself enjoying this video, please go ahead and leave a like down below, as well as consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, as I'll bring you a lot more great Hitman 2 and other game content in the future, and your support really does help out a lot. Good afternoon, 47. Oh, okay, so right from the start here, we want to get one of the uh, commanders and we believe a coup is imminent. And we'll just go to this alley outside the school here, where we can pretty much always get one by tossing the phone. And take his disguise. Gonna leave his body there right now, because we're in a bit of a hurry. Pick this lock. And now what we want to do is make our way over to the Shisha Cafe before the fixer actually gets here. Ah, here he is. So we want to get the phone into his hands. Yeah, yeah, you should take that. Just pick it up. Good man. Next, in order to make this plan work, we've just got to head into the embassy and get a couple items. So first we're going to grab the tranquilizer gun here from the uh, consulate parking lot. Grab this key card. And what the hell, the truck key as well. And just in case we'll deal with security send passing through. What's up? Yeah, I know, what the hell was that? <laughs> so right about now, Xander should be heading on back towards the consulate. Yep, yeah, here he is. Okay, finally, he's strutting his way on in. I'm back. Missed me? I bet you did. Later, toots. <laughs> Shut the hell up, Xander. Your personality's a vacuum or all things go to die. Ah, but Xander, there's a silver lining to all this. 47 has a one-day special offer for you specifically. He'll wipe out your worthless life at no cost to you personally. Well, maybe the cost of your life, but absolutely no one on Earth cares about that. May as well grab these remote mines as I'm passing through here. Probably won't need them, but there is a chance I could use them, so just in case. As we're passing through here, we're just going to grab these coins off the counter. They may yet be useful. Plus, I mean, it's not like 47 is going to literally leave money lying on the table. Okay, we got all the cash. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, for the next part of the plan, we're just going to make our way into the school here. And the next stage of that plan will involve 47 just implementing some changes to the scheduled roster. You're dismissed. General safety. You're dismissed. General safety. You're dismissed. General safety. You're dismissed. General safety. You're dismissed. just say this leave is not a suggestion. Yeah, he gets the idea. You just sleep that one off in here. And before I forget, just a couple house cleaning items. We're just going to take out this guy, crate him, and we'll get the uh, commanding officer from before, toss him in the crate as well. Okay now, if I've timed this correctly, the courier should be arriving any moment now. Ah, yeah, here he comes. Welcome, courier! So, he's just going to take a stroll past Zaydan's office here, but you know what? I think we're just going to interrupt that a little bit. Ah, uh, you know what? We can't just leave him here like that. Oh, Zaydan, get your dumb ass back over here so you can help this guy. Oh no, Courier, you seem to have dropped your diamonds when you fell unconscious for no apparent reason. Oh well, no matter. You're you're certainly a smart fellow, so you'll definitely remember to pick those up the exact moment you regain consciousness, won't ya? Only a complete idiot would leave them behind. I need some assistance here. That's right, Zidane. Go get some help. Anyone copy? Looks like we've got an accident on our hands. Hey, are you all right? You've been attacked by an alien. No, I'm just kidding. It was probably just a really violent guy that just knocked you out. Hey, you ass! I resent that implication. I'm not an alien. Away. I'm sorry. Or, oh wait, violent guy? Well, I kill people. I guess, I guess I'm sort of a violent guy. Still, you don't have to be so rude about it. Hey, champ! Knocked unconscious, were you? Ah, oh, that sucks. Hey, just before you go, you got everything you need, right? Nothing you're gonna be forgetting? You sure now? Okay. Well, we're up here. I'm just gonna kill Zaydan's lantern, because, eh, screw that guy. And what the hell? Let's just fill the room with a bit of gas. 
I think it's time we head back on over to the consulate to check on how that vacuum of personality Xander is making out. Okay, let me just say in advance, I'm dreadfully sorry about all this. You know, I think it's high time we have a good old-fashioned fire drill. Whoa, Stramberg! Slow your roll, I did say it was just a drill. What's going on, Xander? You don't wanna don't wanna follow your buddy Strandberg? Just gonna stay here? Holy hell, we've been standing here for like three or four minutes now. Come on, move. Okay, finally things seem to have uh, calmed down around here now. Gonna get a move on? Okay, yeah, you're going. Uh, I will meet you in the lobby once I get a change of clothes. All right, Xander, where to? I know Strandberg let you off his leash, but you know what? Why don't you just run back to him like a good little dog? <laughs> How the hell exactly do you know uh, Strandberg's escape plans and where he went after all that? No, no matter. Just stand there and do your thing while they're talking. Ah, yes, the restoral of the status quo. I'm sure Strandberg just loves the fact that no matter where in the world he goes, you're just gonna follow him around. Oh, damn it, if I kill you, that's gonna be almost doing him a favor. Yeah, I will still kill you. Ah, ah, look at that! They almost had another meeting, the Courier and the Fixer, almost back together again. So, uh, Haverfolk, see anything sitting on the ground there that looks, uh, familiar? Right there? Come on, Xander, you even noticed a cell phone sitting on the ground amongst a crowd of hundreds of people. No, like, come on, I'll even give you a chance. Look, look. Huh, I guess we got a real genius on our hands here. Alright, you can't say I didn't give you a chance. Oh, by the by, Xander, I gotta say, kudos on your clearly top-tier decision-making process. I mean, standing next to a red gas tank that's visibly leaking. That's genius-level decision-making right there. I, I stand to learn a lot from you, Xander. You know, it's quiet as a tomb in here. Let's liven things up and turn on some tunes. And what a nice guy 47 is will even broadcast this throughout the entire school. Yeah, yeah, see? You guys are getting up. You want to get into it? Get into the dance and... Whoa, whoa boys! Oh. Okay, that's... Okay, you know what? I'm just going to leave you guys to do whatever that is you're doing. Ah, see? Just uh, pipe in a little music. This place is popping now. Yeah, you guys are loving this. Ah, even Courier's getting on the action. I mean, he knows everything's all good. He's definitely still holding those diamonds, right? Idiot. Oh, and look at this. Even Zaydan and his crew, left in their natural habitat, will let loose. Take the time off, boys. You've earned it. You know what? Let's go check on Zaydan and Strandberg. Oh, damn. You're just busting out all the moves, aren't you, Strandberg? Wow. Oh, Xander, what, what's going on with you? I mean, you're busting out the moves, too, but you're also... Busting your face through the wall, that's, uh, well, um, well done. <laughs> you know, I, I hate to break all this up, but, uh, I think you're gonna get a phone call there, Xander. Yep, phone call for you, Xander. Hey, uh, retard, answer the phone. Um, phone's ringing. Oh, damn it, is the dancing actually stopping him from, uh, answering the phone? Must not do anything else, must only dance. Oh, no! Uh, I'm gonna have to rework the plan a little bit. Xander, don't you even think about answering that phone while I'm in here. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna place the mine here. What, Xander, what did I say? Don't even think about it. Abort, abort, I gotta get out of here. His kind of genius is the kind that's gonna get me killed. Okay, you can answer the phone now if you want. Ah, oh, you idiot, you're not even gonna do that now. Okay, let's just place the mine again, I guess. Uh, I guess here should be good. I'm just really worried he's gonna still do something stupid. Let's get out of here. Alright, fine. We'll just detonate the mine. That should do it. Ha <laughs> Bye-bye, Xander! Eliminated. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, did the mine itself kill it? Oh, I lost my silent assassin. No! After all that... No! Oh, I freaked Stramberg out. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's the reason I didn't get Silent Assassin. I think the mine itself killed him, which resulted in his body being found, and so yeah, lost Silent Assassin because of it. I should have just gone a little bit slower and placed the mine in a better spot. I could have probably still done that, but oh well. Hey, at least we uh, finished the mission. And it just occurred to me I had brought the truck key along in order to use that exit, but I forgot about that. Good job, me. And we unlocked a challenge. 
Oh, I guess we got a couple of mission related ones too. And with the completion time of 30 minutes and 31 seconds, only to not get the Silent Assassin. Yay. And some mastery unlocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. That's just been a look back at how to do, or well, maybe not to do, elusive target number 19. Uh, yeah, that one kind of didn't go as planned, but you know, it, it still seemed like it'd be kind of funny to throw up the video for your enjoyment. So hopefully it accomplished at least that much. If you did enjoy it, please go ahead and leave a like down below as well as comment on the video, share it out with your friends, and if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel as I'll be bringing you a lot more great Hitman 2 and other game content in the future, and your support really does help out a lot. For now though, this is Infinite Omega. I've been Black Deatha, this has been Hitman 2, elusive target number 19, killed by blowing up the bastard and kind of blundering in the process. Thank you so much for watching everyone, you guys have yourselves an amazing day. Goodbye.